Hello and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we are reviewing Danger Mouse action figures. We are having an unboxing. They're in their boxes, so therefore. We can maybe start with Penfold over here. Penfold is my favorite. These are from the UK. They're my birthday present to myself. And they arrived on my birthday. How charming is that? It's very charming. Because it wasn't even intentional, so that's kind of nice. Especially because my birthday is so close to the holidays, it usually isn't so thrilling. And you know what? I think that he's not tied down, which is awesome. Um, I prefer the cartoon from the 80s. It came out like ages ago, but it's still really good. I think 81 or 83, I have to check. And this is what he comes with. I think that's his launching pad, where he's supposed to spring up into the air. Oh, you're good. His, well, I was reading the descriptions when I got it. But um, the new cartoon isn't bad. It's not horrific, but I do prefer the older one. Um, we, th we were talking about the pictures. We'll see how the figures actually look. We think that they made Penfold and Greenback true to form, but not so much Danger Mouse. Like, he doesn't look as, what's the word you used? Ah, uh, serious, somber. Yeah, he looks more somber than he, he used to in the old cartoon. He was more, um, I guess, humorous about things. So he's supposed to put his shoes into these boots and spring into the air. We'll see how it works. Um, they're small figures, but, you know, these are little animals in the cartoon, so I think that's okay. They don't need to be big six-inch six figures. Um, it's not particularly necessary. He doesn't really seem to stay in this very well. But, you know, I didn't really buy him so I could flap into the air. Honestly. He reserves it for other occasions. And it's kind of annoying, like, when the toys do that on spring, because it flies somewhere and it pops and slams into something and you have to go find it. I hope it didn't break. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I was going to say, so you know what? I'm not even going to do it, but it actually went in, so maybe I'll do it. Eh. Well, it doesn't really... I mean, it does this thing, but it doesn't really. Let's see, does it turn? Eh, okay, well, that's Penfold's action action that I'm kind of indifferent to. So, <laughs> um, those are the three parts the boots, the spring thing, and this is Penfold himself. Hello, Penfold. Hello, Chief. Oh, crumbs. That's my line. Oh, I get confused. <laughs> Okay, so that would be the Russian Danger Mouse. That would be interesting. <laughs> this is um, his arm articulation. He doesn't have elbow movement, but the whole arm goes back and forth. It doesn't go out to the side. Leg, again, no knee movement, but the whole leg goes back and forth. Um, the legs seem a little loose, especially his left one. Um, hopefully that doesn't matter. Um, but it does seem a little loose. And he's got a cute little tail back there. He doesn't really show that much, but it's a little tiny. He like, wants to show. No, maybe he's embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> he's got his glasses and his cute little hamster ears and his little outfit. So I like this. I like this pinfold figure. He has no head articulation, I don't think. No, he's turned to the side a little, but it doesn't move. Just arm and leg articulation. He can sit down, but he's going to fall. Yeah. Okay. Onward and upward or something. Who would you like to do next? We can do Baron Greenback. Oh dear, you're going to leave poor Penfold alone with Baron Greenback and no Danger Mouse to help protect him. Well, he'll learn how to practice to be a superhero. Sometimes he thinks he wanted, but then he's a creative based initiative. He's not practicing, he's only an assistant. Oh. Assistants get pushed into too much. I wish that Greenback had come with Stiletto instead of Nero. I have Nero um, attached on a statue, so it's cool, but like, Stiletto is separate, and I keep trying to buy him, and they keep saying discontinued, but it came from this series, and this series in general isn't discontinued, so I don't understand why I can't get Stiletto. I have he him and Greenback in statues that I might review someday, but this cartoon, you guys, if you haven't checked it out, it's very droll, and it's funny, and it's charming. I used to watch it as a child and I looked later and found out it was supposed to be an adult cartoon, but I was always a precocious child. Now, interestingly enough, Baron Greenback has more articulation than poor Penfold. Okay. 
He's big. He's a big toad. Toady toad. He might be my favorite. I know he's your favorite. We got him because you wanted him. Gomez and I can treat each other on our own birthdays too. Like I get stuff and then he can get stuff and then on his birthday I can get stuff too if I want to because that's how we roll. Now his arm is a little loose just like Penfold's leg. It's all about the left. What's up? It's all about the left. About the left. Loose body parts. Okay. This, the feet actually where Penfold's would go up and down like back and forth. Greenbacks turn to right or left. He got the full right left and he's got hip swivel to the right left but no forward and back so he can't sit down so that's interesting and his arms go all the way they go up and down they go in and out he's got full arm articulation and he's got hip swivel so he's got more he just doesn't have the sit down mode going on and that's him from the back and then little Nero his sadistic snail S.S. He's cute. Please. He is well developed for his size too, I think. Yeah, I like him on my statue because they made him kind of fuzzy. They call him a caterpillar sometimes and a snail sometimes. He looks like a snail. He has antennae, very cute. Please. And a nosy. He's Most a adorable. Little... Yes. Stiletto is one of my favorites and I love Danger Mouse and Penfold. And, and Greenback's okay. I mean, this is a good figure. And I don't dislike him or anything. He's cool, but like... I used to love the way Stiletto would say, Si, sí, Barone, whenever he would get an order from, oops, Greenback to make mayhem. Okay. And finally. Presenting. Butchering the cartoon, but it's hard to like remember all the words with Bach in the background. Like, the Bach is good. I mean, we had to not not have the Bach. So. He has zipline action. Does our danger mouse? I'm hoping I can remove him from packaging without hurting him because, well, he's not tied down. He's also sort of really sunken into the bloody package. Gotta love a secret agent mouse with an eye patch, though. Okay, it's as if he's hatching from a cocoon of packaging and I'm keeping in mind the loose limbs of the others I'm trying not to break him okay he's the hardest to get out you guys the others popped out very easily he is not trying to did they strap him in I don't see any straps a superhero always comes with a hurdle that he must overcome oh, he's having to overcome this one okay and I realized that I did acknowledge I have vision issues but I think I can always see toy straps okay that was correct there were no toy straps. I had to cover that I don't see any toy straps fit. <laughs> okay. Now, he was just severely sunken into his box. Now he had a reason to look good him. You guys, I really wanted Danger Mouse toys back in the day. There weren't any. So I had to try to pretend with Mickey Mouse. I know. Big difference. Did uh -huh. you ever paint him or... No, I just used my nearsightedness to my own advantage. Aww. <laughs> he was trying to get a date with my friend Barbie. I think they had a relationship. Hopefully no offspring because that would be awkward. That would. <laughs> have Barbie. Have Mouse. She's a superhero because she has nothing else to do with life. <laughs> half Barbie, half Mouse. Barbie Mouse. She's hot. Barbie Mouse. She's, She's amazing. Amazing. Barbie Mouse. <laughs> Okay, so, no, I think they had some kind of physical relations. <laughs> okay, he holds this. And, um, but they didn't have a child that I'm aware of. Now, he has the probably the best articulation. Again, his head doesn't move. His waist doesn't move. But, he's got full arm back and forth and in and out like green back of the barony of green backdom. And he has knee joints. He's the only one with bendy knees, but I really don't think these figures are made well, honestly, you guys. They're so little and the joints don't seem the greatest, so I'm not gonna really need to bend his knees a lot, hopefully. And then the leg goes in and out and left to right, since he's a superhero that has to do a lot of 
jumping and maneuvering, he's got the best articulation, which makes sense. But the only problem with little figures like this is very seldom are the joints something that I feel comfortable with. I forgot the name of the company and the box doesn't really show it where we can see it. So um, it's online, but they're the only ones that I'm aware of who are making Danger Mouse action figures or whoever did. It came out probably in um, tribute to the new startup of the new cartoon. I like Danger Mouse's voice and personality and expressions better in the old one. So if you guys have seen the new Danger Mouse cartoon, watch the old one. Do yourself a favor. I like it when he'll be like, you know, there's only one thing left to do, Penfold. That's when, like, everything's going to hell. And he's like, what is it, Chief? He's like, panic! Ah! And, like, the new version is just more serious, and I don't think he would do that. Like, it's like, you know, the, the old one is a, a bad-to-the-bone superhero, but yet he can still, like, be human, as it were, for a mouse. Like, mouse, mouse... Mousin? 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 Like human? Mousin? He can still be Mousin, and he can freak out when he needs to freak out. It's like, I'm still a superhero, I'm tough, I'm, I'm courageous, I have my eye patch action going on, I probably got in an accident because I'm so awesome, but, you know, I still can get afraid and panic and freak out when things look like they're going south. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and I like that, and I think the new one seems to be, oops, more toughened and less together. Okay, he's not standing up so well unless I put him in that weird kind of position, but maybe they wanted him to have more like action or something. Wait, here goes the rest of his zip line thing. I don't really care about it because I can't imagine Danger Mouse of old zip lining. We, I want a zip line. We were gonna zip line like last year. Anyway, that's the zip line. We, okay. But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, like, we were going to zip line, and then, like, they were closing. So we're standing in line, and we're like, oh, we're going to do this, and then they were closing. So, really? And I think my mom wanted to zip line, so we might try to all find a way to zip line together. That could be fun. Adam's family fun. Da -da 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 -da. Grandmama and Gomez, Morticia, all go zip lining like Danger Mouse. Except we wanted to do it before he was doing it, so... Since I don't recall him doing it in the 80s. Wow, it gets long. Look. Wow. Like, wee! Okay, it came off. Cool. <laughs> I've had coffee. A lot of coffee. It was good. It was free birthday coffee. If you go to coffee shops or different restaurants on your birthday, you get free stuff. So I always utilize the coffee. It's like, okay, it's my birthday. I am getting coffee. It's long enough to use as a cheap crappy cord for a pendant? No, I'll do that. That's not cool. <laughs> DIY next video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, like, what was I talking about? Uh, coffee, free coffee. Yeah, on your birthday, go get free coffee. And go get free food. Like, Denny's gives you free food. And other restaurants, look up online. Mama Otter slash Charlotte um, was telling me about that. She goes through it all and gets all the free stuff for her birthday, which I think is cool. Like, she'll go to the Mall of America and find everywhere she can get free stuff and load up on food and good stuff. Hey, it's awesome. It's your birthday. Treat yourself on all the free stuff you can. And I think it's nice that, you know, places are, you know, that do that for their customers. Send some kind of birthday appreciation out. It's cool. So, we were cheating because we were Slytherin. And we went to one coffee shop and got me free coffee for my birthday. And then we went to another coffee shop and got me free coffee, Gomez free coffee for my birthday. <laughs> I was going to say me free coffee for Gomez's birthday, but that will be in March. So, it's like, you know, I don't want to have free coffee without you getting free coffee. So, we're going to go get it from both. And you know what? I don't feel bad because we spend money at those shops like crazy. Like, we buy a lot of coffee. So, you know what? It's okay. Now, Danger Mouse was asleep. That wasn't cool. He'll sleep on the job, Chief. All right, that is Greenback, Danger Mouse, and Penfold. We're going to put them all together so they can say jolly good show. Thank you for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share, and check out our other spooky, fun, good, jolly videos. And this still fits back with Gothic Reviews because Greenback is very spooky. <laughs> and if you don't know this already, watch the channel. Uh, not the channel, the... Um, well, I guess it's on YouTube, so it would still be a channel. Watch the cartoon. Watch the new one for fun, but really check out the old one first if you haven't seen either. And have a dark day.